Hey guys, this is Sam. Today we're going to see how to make a stopwatch in JavaScript. If you're new to my channel, you can watch lots of similar lessons like this. So don't forget to check it out and I leave the source code in the below description area. So no more delays. Let's create new HTML file and I'm going to name it as stopwatch.html and let me save this file. Yeah. And HTML5 snippet. Yeah, and I'm going to give the title stopwatch in JavaScript. Yeah. Let's create a container uh, which is going to have six buttons in it. So let me name it as div class equal to controls. And I'm going to create buttons, button with on click event. And the number of buttons is six. Okay. Let's write everything start and pause and stop and restart I'm sorry for that restart and lap don't worry I'm going to explain everything in detail and reset laps okay now we need to have the stopwatch container so div uh, class equal to stopwatch that's it let me give some dummy value zero 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 okay now the labs container for this i'm going to use ul okay that's it let's see how it looks like in the browser okay i'm searching for the file i'm sorry uh oh okay better we uh, add some css to this okay style and i'm going to add the style to the body first so background uh, 2d 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 come on 2d 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 and color as f6 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 which is gray color actually and uh, i want this stopwatch to be placed at the center of the page so here is my formula display flex and flex direction as column uh, align items center and justify content come on justify content center and uh, height as 100 vh viewport height i'm giving permission to take the complete height of the viewport here and stopwatch stopwatch i'm going to give font size as 15 em uh, come on 15 em and font family as monospace actually why monospace all the letters in this font will take the equal amount of space in the screen okay ul i'm going to reset margin equal i mean as zero and padding as zero and laps li and i'm going to give the styles for li list style as none and let me add a padding also so padding 10 pixel and zero okay hopefully it will look good okay we are not adding any css for the buttons here so i just leave the complete customization to your hand let's concentrate on the javascript part now let's open up the script tag uh, script and type equal to javascript i'm going to introduce some variables here okay var ms equal to zero ms stands for milliseconds and s equal to zero and this is for seconds and m m stands for minutes and timer so this is going to handle the timer function and i'm going to uh, add on more variables here document and query selector i'm going to get the reference of the element uh, stopwatch and i'm going to get the reference of the labs container so let me copy this and paste it here uh, let me change this labs container and let me change this to labs so here is the reference stopwatch and labs so now we're going to write the method let's go back to the ui and see first button is start so let's start defining the method function start and uh, i'm going to initialize timer timer equal to set interval so this will call the given method here i'm going to pass the method here before that we need to um, create the method function run so this is the method we are going to call 
uh, in a uh, given interval okay so let's call the method here run comma the interval should be uh, 10 because I want to call uh, 100 times in a second so I need to pass 10 here okay stop watch element dot in the text so here we need to provide um, all the um, minutes I mean uh, uh, minutes seconds and uh, milliseconds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to append those things so minute plus colon plus and second and plus colon I'm sorry and MS so that's what we are going to do here and we need to increment MS so I'm incrementing like that if MS equal to 100 we need to reset it to 0 and we need to increment the seconds also and if second is 60 and we need to reset yes equal to 0 and m plus plus okay this is the logic we need to write here uh, let's try to test this okay this is working fine uh oh but look at the jerk in the ui uh, when it is in single digit it's actually uh, jumping right so i'm going to add question mark 0 plus m and colon m actually this is a special um, operator ternary operator you can watch a, watch me one, watch one of my video to understand that what i'm doing is if the second or minute or a millisecond is less than 10 i'm just appending zero with that so just try to understand ternary operator if you're not clear just check the description area i put the link for the video about uh, special operators okay so now i'm done with the stopwatch let's test this okay now okay we don't see any jerk in the video right okay but see i'm hitting the start button multiple times uh, something is wrong with that thing right because the timer is being initialized um uh, more than i mean one time so if the timer is set already you don't i mean the timer should not be uh, initialized again so that's what i'm doing just added a check now let's test start i'm just hitting multiple times okay now this is working fine let's add the button for i mean let's add the method for pass now we are going to pass so before that uh, i'm going to clear the interval so that's the thing actually clear interval we need to pass the uh, reference timer okay let's see how it works and that's good oh my god but start is not happening right okay this is because timer is uh, still having the value one so we need to make it false so timer equal to false now let's test start pause start pass. oh perfectly all right and let's write the method for stop function stop okay now we are going to do the same thing here clear interval timer and timer equal to false same thing and we are going to set i mean reset all the values that's the very important part here so ms m, m equal to 0 and s equal to okay ms equal to 0 s equal to 0 and m equal to again 0 so i'm just re resetting all the values okay let's test that okay stop is working fine right okay pause stop everything is working right okay okay as you can see these code are duplicating right clear interval and timer false this code seems same so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more method and i'm going to move this duplicate code there so stop timer and let me cut this part and paste it here and i'm going to call the method here stop timer okay here also i'm going to remove this and stop timer and one more thing you can see this part also coming twice in run method also we are using that in stop method also we are using so one more method get time 
and I'm going to uh, copy this full content and paste it here and I'm going to remove this stopwatch element dot text content so just construction part okay now I am going to um, st write stopwatch dot text content equal to get timer and here we remove this part and put get timer okay now this will be taken care and anything else yeah let's test now restart function restart now what we are going to do is same thing first we need to reinitialize the thing so first stop the timer and start it that's what we are going to do stop and start that's what restart right so let's give it a shot restart is working fine without any issues okay stop pause and restart okay everything looks fine now let's give a uh, uh, function lap and we need to take a screenshot of the current time right so if timer is running what we are going to do is we are going to take a screenshot so let's create a li element document dot create element of li since the labs container is ul and li dot inner text equal to get timer so this will give the get current time and and i'm going to open this li to the labs container that is actually the ul okay so labs container dot append of li actually append uh, will not work in many old browsers so let me change it as append child this will work in all the browsers okay append also work but that will work only on uh, earlier i mean new modern browsers okay okay this is not working okay let's okay oh my god get current time is not defined get current time okay the method name is get timer i'm sorry let's change to get timer and give it a shot start okay this is being added without any issues okay fine so now it's taking the screenshot properly now write the method for function reset labs here we are going to just re i mean reset the content of the uh, ul container so that's very easy labs container dot inner html equal to the empty string that's it okay let's give it a shot okay let's start lab 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 reset labs oh my god that's not working mm. reset labs everything looks fine let's check it on okay this is this should be the method call okay open bracket close bracket i missed it now let's give a shot start lab lab yeah it's working fine right so this is all about stopwatch so thank you for watching this video as usual don't forget to like and share if you're new to this channel consider subscribing meet you soon in the next video lesson take care bye bye